with Dave Dixon, our friend of our Sandman. Got a couple of questions for you, Dave. Okay. Uh, when you arrive at a venue, Dave, what's the once your gear is out of its cases, yeah. like, like your desk and your amp racks and things, what's your first task? What's the first thing you do? Go to catering, get a cup of tea. Like everybody else. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, well, you, you've got to work with everybody else uh, on the production, so you know, you get your gear up, it doesn't mean to say that you just go ahead and finish, you've got to wait for lighting and things. <laughs> So it's nice to see you two boys together, or that close together. We, yeah. we actually do love each other, but he hates me. In fact, we're just about to have sex. Right? <laughs> <laughs> There's so much new technology around. I mean, I know Jason carries that little thing, gizmo, gizmo thing. The gizmo. But, and you know, you obviously you have to configure a PA in every venue. Yes. Yeah. Is it much easier now to do that and quicker? It is as quick. I wouldn't say it's any quicker. Um, obviously we've got tools which enable us to do things a lot easier. Um, yeah. The advent of wireless now helps our legs, now we're getting old, so <laughs> we, can, <laughs> yeah. we can take things like Jason's gizmo and um, actually go into a yeah. chair and listen and alter things. At, at that chair. He, he wanders around the venue with that with his gizmo even during the gig yes. and is that because you say to him go and check out that or yeah. does he just do that naturally? Does he do well it's, it's part of the job. Yeah. So, this computer controls that rack over there so what that is that's all the processing for the speakers. It's the line driver for the speaker, it's the crossover yeah. for the speaker itself it's Gain control, delay control, okay. EQ control for everything. And you do that remotely during the sound check? During or during show, pre during any part of it. In the old days, whenever the system engineer would walk around the arena yeah. and call over the radio to the front of house engineer, EQ this out of this section of the PA, Great. I can walk up there, listen to it, and do it real time. Tonight we're playing in a in a theatre in um, Clearwater, Clearwater, Florida. Clearwater, yes. which is a quite looks, looks like it's going to be quite a nice sounding venue. But I mean, you must have set up PA's in some awful places, and you walked in and thought, "Oh my God, this is mm. going to be a disaster." Can you think of any particular, particularly bad examples of halls around the world? Well, um, that all depends on the type of music, the type of act you're doing. You know, um, yeah, I've worked with. Andre Bocelli for three years, yeah. and the last thing I wanted to do was turn up into a really dead theatre with oh, a right. tenor singer and a you know, 60 yeah. or 70 piece orchestra. Um, likewise, I don't really want to go into a concert hall with a amplified yeah. band. Right. So for somebody yeah. like us, a theatre, quite a dead theatre yeah. is really good because then you can, you've yeah. got control, haven't you? Yeah. Well thanks for that Dave, no pleasure talking to you. <laughs> Hi folks, here we are at Clearwater and I'm talking to Jason Vrobel. How would you describe your job? What's your job description? Um, I'm the audio system engineer. System engineer. Or audio crew chief. Okay, what does that entail? That entails, I uh, come in in the morning, decide where the PA is going to be for that certain venue, how we're going to configure the PA, how much PA to bring in, that sort of stuff. and. You know, I run the crew for the sound guys. If the sound guys need any any help with anything. I'm the one they talk to. And I see. I get it so it sounds like there's a lot of experience behind that job. How long have you been touring? Also? Um, a little over eight years. Eight years. Yeah. You've learned a hell of a lot in eight years <laughs> by the sounds of things. Um, yeah, I have, I've been lucky to work on a lot of great tours with a lot of great guys. Right. I learned a lot. From Who have you worked with, other than um, Mark? Paul McCartney, the Eagles, Green Day. I think I've heard of them yeah, anyway, I'm not sure. Guys. Anyway, you have this interesting box, which we call your gizmo. It's probably the wrong name. Is there a technical name for it? Um, it's the PA Control Tablet, is how I describe it. The PA Control? Tablet. Tablet? Yeah. Wow, that does sound exotic. And, and basically, what does it do? How, how does it work? What do you do with it? Um, what I do is... It's an interface, obviously. Yes. All it is is it controls the processing for the speaker. So depending on how I set up the sound system every day, I can control the speakers a little bit different. It's a lot of trust between me and Dave that, you know, that if I hear something, 
I'll tell him what's going on in the room because yeah. he's listening to do exactly what's going on where he is. Yes. But it sounds completely different. Well, it's brilliant of you to speak to us, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.